Welcome back to your review for your Algebra 1 Semester 1 final exam. Um, this is problem 12, uh, though this number might change from year to year, so just make sure your problem matches this one that's on the screen and you should be good to go. Um, this problem is absolute value, and I talked a pretty a large amount about this problem on the last one that we did, which was another absolute value equation, problem 11. So I'm going to go a little bit faster here. I'm still going to show you both methods because I both think they have their merits. And this problem is a little bit shorter too. So here we go. Um, that method one that we discussed last time was to isolate the absolute value. And I'll show that right now. Isolate absolute value. So as I go through, we have negative 3 that's attached by multiplication to this absolute value quantity. That's equal to negative 6. So to isolate the absolute value, we would divide both sides by negative 3 and end up with the absolute value of x plus 4 equal to positive 2. Now that's good so far, because the absolute value, whenever you take the absolute value of a number, it should be positive, and it is positive right there. So, after we've isolated the absolute value, now we come out to two equations. We should know that if the inside of this becomes positive 2, and then we do the absolute value of positive 2, we get the right answer. So if I just look at this inside, we want the inside to be equal to positive 2. Of course, at the same time, if the inside became negative 2, and then we did the absolute value, we would still get positive 2. So our second equation is that that x plus 4 could also be negative 2, and our left side would still be equal to the right. We subtract 4 from both sides and end up with x can be negative 2. We subtract 4 from both sides and get x equal to negative 6. Two answers here, negative 2, negative 6, it's going to be b. Now, we discussed last time that you should always, always, always check your work for absolute value. And it turns out when you check these answers, you will get the right answer. The left side will be equal to the right, and you are set. However, I did want to demonstrate that second method. And so here is method two. And method two has a bit of an advantage because you don't have to isolate the absolute value first. All you have to do is change the slope. So when you change the slope, we need to recognize that in this equation up here, the number multiplying by x is our slope. I'm going to make two different slope equations. One of them is going to be negative 3 parentheses x plus 4 equal to negative 6. And the other equation is going to be positive 3 parentheses x plus 4 equal to negative 6. And now these are equations that we can solve either by distributing or dividing, whatever you'd like to do. And I'll show you both. Negative 3x minus 12 equals negative 6. We're going to add negative 12 to both sides, or I'm sorry, add 12 to both sides, and 12 plus negative 6 is 6. Divide by negative 3 to get negative 2. And same with the orange side. I'll distribute 3x plus 12 equal to negative 6. Subtract 12 from both sides to get negative 18. Divide by 3 to get negative 6. And it matches our answer as well. So, two methods. You could, of course, also take every number that's up here, plug it in for x, and see when the left side equals the right.